Hey guys, Taco Cyclone FPV. I had a customer order this uh, kit from us, and it's not one that we created by any means. Uh, let me show you what I'm working on here. So this is the uh, this is the T the Transtech Lightning. It's a PNP setup, um, and so there's pretty much nothing to go with this, and I didn't realize that. So he said, "Hey, look, I, I don't think I got the right stuff, or the wires aren't the right length, or whatever." So I said, "Look, give me a minute. Let me go ahead and open it, and we're going to check this out." So I'm going to make this. Uh, I'm going to be doing videos like every day now about everything that we carry. I'm going to physically go and open everything, and we're going to pick one item a day at least. Flight controller. We're going to go over it and wire it and do everything we can. So might as well educate myself and everybody else who wants to be involved in it. So let's look at what we've got here. Um, this is a Cadex Turbo Micro F2. Uh, I guess, okay, there's this, uh, these are their motors, this is their, I guess their receiver to what, I don't know, um, I don't know enough about that part, uh, this is the flight controller props, okay, so, I mean, from the looks of it, it looks like a pretty good little kit, um, but he said that the motor wires aren't long enough and, and something else, and you know what, if, he, if, if that's true, then we have a serious problem here that we need to fix, so this is the only piece of paper they give us, okay, um, and so let's just, let's see what happens, okay. Uh, first thing is, let's go ahead and open the frame up. It's a pretty solid frame, actually. God darn. It's really good. It's a really... Transtech, they, they've got good stuff. Um, uh, so let me put that there. Uh, and let's see, this phone isn't going to stop ringing. So let me... I'm just going to put that on mute. Everybody's going to have to wait a little bit. i got to do some work, guys. Okay, so I'm just going to open the kit for... I'm going to open the frame first. I want to look at what we get here, okay? Uh, so let's get these pieces out. It's got the aluminum uh, pieces on it here. They're going to go like this and like this. Okay, now we'll have to figure out the rest of these. And I guess I could look at the picture, but I don't know. It's kind of fun to just not do that. Although I may regret it down the road. Watch. Okay, uh, and let's see what else we got. We got an LED here. We got a few things. Okay, we got our motors. So let's see what they give us. Uh, let's put this bag away. All right, we've got all the screws that we need, I, I suppose. Uh, we've got all the cabling we need. The question I have is, do we have the spacers that we need? Uh, heat shrink, zip ties, okay. Where are, maybe they're in the, maybe they're in the bag? I don't know, let me open this up. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, start with that. It's our receiver, what is this? Here's our ESC. It's actually using an HAKRC setup, I think, which is a very good setup. Um, I can't complain about that at all. So, um, it is weird though that maybe maybe I'm missing it. I'm looking, I'm looking to make sure I'm not missing it. I don't see it in the back here. So one thing that I definitely don't see is the standoffs. So where the heck are the standoffs? And also, where are the screws? Hmm. Kind of doesn't make any sense. All right, so right off the bat, it does look perhaps like this is missing um, some pretty important pieces, like a like the standoffs. You can't put the board on the ground. Looks like they've made you kind of a wrench here to use. That's kind of neat. I mean, at least they give you that. That's the tool they're giving you. But I really am missing that piece. So, so right off the bat, I mean, looking at this, how the hell do they want us to mount? It's like we're missing... Man, that's a bummer. Hold on. So I can see where that would be aggravating to start. It didn't fall out. There's the ESC, so that's everything. Nothing in the other bags. All right, so we're going to have to come up with something for that just to start even, just to get started on this build. Um, well, hold on a second, because... There's more than that missing, I think. Ah, okay, so no, this is the, 
I guess this is going to be our... I was thinking this might be our receiver, but this is actually going to be our VTX. Okay, so that part makes sense. So at least we have a VTX now. Great. Okay. Let's get our camera out. I basically want to make sure all the bags are empty so I can really get an idea of what the heck's going on here. Take the motors. Uh, hold on a second, guys. I apologize. Uh, hello? Hey, I'm on a live feed. What's going on? Okay, hold on. Sorry, guys. It's my wife. Give me one second. Let me just see what's going on here. Oh, yeah. Okay, I'll do it right now. Okay, bye. I'm bye. Sorry, guys. Excuse me one second. I apologize, but you know when you do these videos, and I don't, I don't like to stop them and do all that goofy stuff. So give me just a minute here. Uh, I got to do something for my wife. It'll take me all of a minute or two. So if you bear with me one second, and then we'll jump right back to doing our drone work. But if mom ain't happy, drones ain't happy. I tell you that right now. So let me do this real quickly. Uh, okay. done get a confirmation I'll put done yep done okay there it goes all right so let's get back to work now so we are missing stand up now we have our BTX we have our ESC which is a good ESC we have our flight controller we have our motors um, I don't think the issue I'm gonna see here is that it won't reach so I'm not sure yet what he's talking about but we'll, we'll figure it out soon enough we have our camera we have our XT6, our XT30, and all the goofy stuff here. So really what we're missing is, at least from what I see, we seem to be missing the, um, uh, we have our motor screws. We really don't have standoffs. That's kind of weird. So I'll tell you what, I'm gonna grab some anyway because if we are gonna sell these kits, whatever we got left of them, hey, you know what? We're gonna go ahead and add the additional stuff so it works, okay? So let's see what they gave us. I'm going to go ahead and um, add, Hmm. Let's use, let's do this. Let's go with a, let's see if we're gonna do one stack, right? We'll raise it off. Let's do another stack, we raise it off. Let's do a 20, let me go grab a 20 mil M2. All right, so let's grab a 20 mil M2. Uh, let's see, 20, 20, 20, M2. Socket M2, 20. It's probably gonna be a little too much. So I'm going to grab a 20 mil M2. Okay, we're going to put four of those in here. And my guess, where's the picture I had? Let me see this thing. Okay, so this is going to be the front. So my guess will be, let's do this. Let's put one here and one here and one here and one here. Okay, so we've got those in. And then to keep this off, um, of the carbon fiber, let's use our clear spacers, and we'll probably use three of each one, okay? So let's try that. So first thing that the customer who bought this is, clearly, uh, Transtech did not do their homework with regard to packing, but that is not the end of the world because we can make this good by just adding a few things, like really it's missing four screws so far and some spacers or standoffs so we're going to improvise here and probably make it better than it was how they intended now i'm hoping these screws are going to be okay height but since we just got done building something similar like than this similar to this with the um tank 95 all right so we've used three here so now let's put the esc on oh that's that's plenty of room that's going to be plenty of room all right and then let's use another three for the flight controller. Probably get away with two on there, but I'm not gonna push it. I might as well, where's those things here? Let's just make sure. So, oh yeah, it's plenty of room. All right. So we're gonna use three for the flight controller as well. No reason not to. Get my soldering iron turned on. I guess we're gonna be building this thing today. 
um, to make sure that it's all good. Okay. And I don't know how many of these we have. I'm curious to see. Let me see. Um, is that the Trans Tech Lightning? You do search, just, just, just curious. So let's do a search here and let's go. Okay, it says we got six, so I mean, this isn't gonna be, clearly whoever gets this, you're gonna get a heck of a deal because I mean, you can't buy these things. Let me see, what we, I don't even know what we're selling them for, but I'll make sure it makes its way out there for everybody. Um, all right, so let's see, they give us a manual here and they're telling us that uh, we have our S bus here. So this is exactly how it's laid out. Uh, S bus here. This looks like. Oh no! What am I doing? Oh, crap! I was looking to see. Okay, so the plug is back there. All right. Sorry, didn't mean to do that. So we're gonna plug directly into here. Uh, I should have been smarter about this. I apologize. Just ignore my stupidity, please, for one second. I would zoom through this build really quickly, actually, because. This is going to be a very simple build, I think, but Lord knows I've been wrong before. These stupid little washers or standoffs or whatever you call them, O-rings, are not helping me at all right now. My fat fingers are getting in the way. All right. Fat fingers, fat fingers. Here we go. Okay, let's clear off some of this now. So there, we're back to this. So, so let's do this, right? Let's go ahead and prep the pads now. Let's get the trash out of the way. Get the screws out of the way. Get all this crap out of the way. And let's, let's prep this thing. So I'm gonna turn this without lifting it up because I don't want the screws to fall out again. All right, uh, where is my, here it is, my flux pen. So let's go ahead and just knock this out. So let's flux this side, flux that side, and we'll flux right here. Okay, and our soldering iron is ready. So let's get some solder. <laughs> okay. And then let's go down the ESC tabs here. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four. Okay, I was just, I wasn't even planning on doing this today, so my wife's gonna be really pissed at me because I haven't done my other work. It's okay, she'll get over it. Okay, so let's see what we've got here. We've got our plus on this side and our ground on the other side, so it's gonna lay like this right here. I'm just gonna go ahead and tin this wire up a little bit because my solder will melt faster than theirs most likely. So let's just lay it on top there like that. And then let's get our, uh, here we go. Okay. All right. Okay, now I am curious to see how the flight controller sits on here. So flight controller is going to sit like this. It aims that way. That's what it's pointing at. Uh, okay, so that's not enough spacer. So let's get a couple more. Okay. Let's do one. Let's see if four on this side is going to work. Because with those plugs on the bottom, it's hitting the ESC. Let's see how this does. I think that's good actually. If we're not gonna crank it down like real tight, I think this will be good. So uh, to spare me this thing falling out, I'm just gonna grab some fasteners now. All right, so I'm just some standard nylon fasteners. So that's another thing that this is missing is the nylon fasteners and apparently I'm missing them too. I've got to find mine. All right, uh, let's see. I may have some laying around on this bench here. I've got one, so <laughs> that's great. So let's put one. Or not. Uh -oh. oh, you know what? I'm thinking here, maybe I'll use the other ones for now, just for the time being, but let's see if I can get this to go. So there's one. I must have more somewhere. Here's another one. It's like looking in the couch and finding money. I know I've got stuff laying around here, I just don't know where. There's two. Okay. Okay. 
And I think what I'll do just for the time being until I get the rest of them is I'm just going to use these to kind of hold it in place because this is not a big deal. So I'm just going to put these on here. I'll just hold it. That way this thing isn't falling out every time I move it, okay? All right, so the next thing I want to do is I want to see, because I have this feeling that I'm going to regret putting this on right now, knowing that I have to run that cable for the ESC right there. So let's look at our cables real quickly. Now that we've got this set up, let's look at our cables. I believe that this is the cable that they're referring to. So let's just check this out. It's going to be here, right? So we have... Uh, ground battery okay and then but they don't give us the pin layout on the other one so the problem is let me see if I can look at it from here so I can see it from underneath and it's the same okay good so this is gonna plug in here just like that okay so we're gonna plug this cable into the bottom here I'll use my um, tweezers to push them there we go and then to get it to the uh, front, uh, I guess I can go over or I could go under. Would have rather have gone under, which is why I said I'm probably going to regret putting these on. So let me do that real quick. And I think I'm going to put these aside for right now. Uh, oh. Let's take these and put these, because these these aren't, it's easier to spin these things right here. So I'm going to use these for the time being. Uh, all right, so what I'll do is I'll probably just come in between the XT30 right here. I don't see any harm in that, actually. Let me go between this. I just don't want these damn spacers to fly out. Okay, I'm going to gently lift this up. I'm going to run this through here, and I'm going to apply it to this section here, which is pins down, so it's going to sit like it's going to sit like this perfect okay so let's put that in i don't think i'm going to have to lift this up again so let me now go ahead and put it down there we go and let's put some of these back on just to hold it in place okay there's one two and by the looks of it i could probably have gone with a i don't know maybe a 18 mil screw but i'm not going to worry about it because I still have a VTX to put on. All right, let's put this one. And hey, look at this. So far, so good. Okay. So, so far, we've had to add our own screws and uh, let's see, four, seven, 14, 28 spacers. Okay. And a fasteners. Okay. Now, these aren't permanent fasteners, obviously. All right. That's done. Everything's set up so far. Now, let's see what else this says. It says that we're going to go to the, uh, let's see, short circuit, top two pads. To get 5 volt bottom two pads, get VCC, default is VCC. It determines VTX port voltage. Well, uh, what they're not telling me, where's my VTX? This is my VTX, and let's see if it says anything. Um, the VTX doesn't seem to say anything about voltage input, um, but it does say, let's see. EWRF, and it says ground positive uh, and I guess S, which I don't know if they mean for smart audio. Let me see. Do they give us any hints here? Uh, they're not giving us any hints. All right. And there's our S bus, which is here. You see. Okay. So let's see what we're going to work with. Um, very interesting setup here. Okay. So this is going to be our video. This is for our camera. And this is four wires, which will most likely go here. Okay, that looks good. Hey, we're, we're making stuff happen. And then we have our plug. So uh, this is sitting like this. So we have our boot button. It should be over here somewhere. Is that right? Oh, opposite. Okay, so I'm looking at this as if this was flipped upside down. I see. So boot button's here. So receiver's on this side. TX1 VCC, 5 volt and ground camera so our camera wire and it says by default default is five volt I hate when they turn these things upside down so let me see where I'm at here TX1 TX1 and then 
short circuit two pads. Default is VCC. It determines the VTX port voltage. That's great. Thanks a lot. Uh, so this is their signal. Okay. So we're going to leave this assuming. I'm going to look this up real quick. But let's just see. I mean, this is I mean, it's not very good for directions. Let me look at something here. Looking to see what their voltage, and it looks like. Uh, let me see what does it have here. Sorry, guys, but I just said E7082C. Oh, here it is. Okay. Let's see what it says. So it is a. This is a. Uh, this is a twenty-five, one hundred, and two hundred forty-eight channel BTX, uh, and it has an it can handle an input of twenty-four volts. Okay, and I even have their table here. That's pretty cool. I didn't know I was gonna get that. All right. So then, if the default here, because this flips over, if the default here. TX1. Cam is up here. I'm just going to plug this in and I'm going to take a reading as to what it is because their directions are going to drive me up the wall. So let me just plug this in uh, and make sure I'm on the right side here. So our boot button, it's on the opposite side of the boot button and it's going to be this one right here. Alright, so with that said, before I get any further with this, I'm going to go ahead and plug in our smoke stopper. And I just want to see, I'm going to unplug this real quickly. I'm going to try to get a reading. If this thing doesn't blow up on me, I'll try to get a reading. Perfect. All right, so, so far we've got power and everything. Let's get our reading here. Let's see what voltage we're getting out of this. Okay, so here you go. All right, so that's getting us, that's straight VCC right there. Perfect. So this is correct, this will be VCC. So I'm gonna go ahead and make a note on this one so that I can add the note to the website. So the VTX. Okay, is VCC. And we can plug this in here. All right, whoops, like this. And this should match, so let me make sure it says ground, positive, and that is smart audio, so that's cool. Uh, I will leave it unplugged for now because we have to do um, we have to do the uh, changing of the channel or else it's going to stop our video. So I'm going to go in there and configure that first with the VTX table. Uh, and let me see if I can find here what does it use. Uh, okay, 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 and then I'm looking here to see... It says to set it up as, I tell you what, man, these things get cheaper and cheaper and this stuff gets worse and worse. Uh, we'll figure it out. I'll get into Betaflight and figure that out. All right, so we've got our VTX set aside. This is going to be for our camera, and this says that our camera, because this is our receiver side, so this is, this is for our camera here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. It's actually pretty neat. They made these very small, and it's, it's, they're, Makes it very easy, I think. Um, but maybe that side doesn't plug it. But maybe it's this side. I don't know. No, it should be this side. This should go in. I don't know. I'll, I'll step on it. To, there we go. Okay, it doesn't have to be stepped on. All right. Now I'm going to test the voltage on this one because I do want to get a reading on this too, so I can make notes. So now we should have voltage coming out of here, which we do. So let's see what we have here. Yikes. Okay, so that's also giving us uh, a VCC, and I don't think that's going to be good for this camera. Uh, no, hold on a second. No, this camera actually goes up to 40 volts. 
So that would be very good. So let's make sure it lines up. Five to 40 volts, ground and video. So there we go. So this should plug in here. Excellent. And that does, it, it is the right voltage. Okay, so, so we're gonna make sure that we note here though that if you're gonna use this, another thing, and so cam equals VCC also. All right, now what do we have left? LED I'm not gonna worry about. Let's look at the motors. So he said the motor wires don't reach. And you know what? He might be very close to being right here because it is noticeable that I think some of these motors have noticeably longer. Yeah, look at that. Holy moly. That is quite the difference. And that's really, really concerning. Now, one of the things I'm thinking though, as I look at this, is that this company may have expected the board to be turned and if it's turned all the motor wires will reach okay so does it reach with this let me see let me unplug this and let's see how close we are okay let's take our camera out let's get all this stuff out now because we know what, what's going on so let's just see something does this reach and the answer is no it, it can't reach it's not possible to reach but if we were to take everything and turn it, right, or just turn the ESC, that is. You don't even have to turn the, um, and I'm wondering how they have it on here. So they don't show the XT60 on here in any particular way, but this isn't, it's not unheard of to turn it, right? So let's try that and see if we can work through this gentleman's problem that he has with the motor wires not reaching. Okay, so this is gonna suck because we have to now open this up and lift these and if is it possible to leave it lift it without it falling that would be amazing let's turn it sideways i am trying forget it okay that's where i give up all right so let's do this all right so let's turn it and we got all our spacers on the bottom so now before i do all that now how is it now it's going to, I think it's going to reach with no problem. Yep, it will. So plan on turning your ESC so that the battery uh, XT30 is coming out the side. That's the solution for the way that they've provided the motors. All right, I can't do anything about it, but again, um, welcome to quality control or the lack of. But hey, look, it's a drone and it's not expensive, so don't gripe about it. Uh, don't, don't gripe about getting a $50 drone or a $100 drone, whatever it costs. Don't gripe that you didn't get a $1,000 drone. Okay, you want a $1,000 drone, spend $1,000. If not, I think this is gonna actually going to turn out pretty cool. So far, I'm, not, I'm definitely not disappointed in it. Just a couple little changes, but it's nothing that we can't handle. Oh my gosh. All right, this is the worst part right here. Okay. But I do understand though, is especially if, you know, it's, it can be aggravating. I respect that 100%, but it's not the end of the world. There are solutions to every single problem and we're gonna show you, oh, how about I put this on the right way? That's one thing. Oh my gosh, I just am so worried about these stupid bow rings popping off. All right, let's try that, okay? Ta-da! Now, let's get everything put back down. Still trying to figure out why I have extra O-rings because I know they didn't come out of anything. So I guess they may have just been laying there to begin with. All right, so let's check. Three on the bottom, yep. Four on the top, yep. Does it fit? Yep. Now, let's go ahead, and I'm assuming that they gave us these screws, which are the motor screws. So let's go ahead and dump these out, and let's see how that goes. Clearly, we're going to have one motor that needs to have its wires cut because they gave us one that's like, uh, you know, super long. Uh, wires. Uh oh, here's my screwdriver. Here it is. Okay. Look, we're 30 minutes into this build and we're still figuring out how this is supposed to work. So, my bad. But I, I, I do appreciate the guy writing me about it. I think it's, I, with all the products I have, I wish I could go back, and that's one of the things we're doing now, is I'm gonna go back and just redo them all. I mean, like, I wanna go through every single item I have, one by one, and make a video on it. Because if I don't know my products that well, then how can I help anybody, right? 
So that's going to fit great. Now, I'm going to be upset again because I cannot solder this with the top piece on. Man, I tell you what, it's it's short. Uh, no, it'll, it'll fit. Um, I wonder if they've given three motors the same length of wire, and it looks like maybe they did. So these are going to fit with no problem. This sucker right here can reach all the way to the other side. This one, now are these the same length though? See, my, my guess is that let me put this one over here. I'm just going to put this other one here because I want to see if one of them is just considerably shorter. And because there's one that's long, you could easily just take the wire and splice it. It's not the end of the world, but you know, again, I understand that some people don't want to mess with that, and I can respect that. But at the same time, I do have to say that with prices going up right now, trying to find a deal on drone stuff when, I mean, it may take you five more minutes to modify, but it may be worth it just because prices are going up. All right. Now, I didn't even think about the fact, I don't know why they've done this because it doesn't matter. They've obviously threaded these differently. So I'm going to going to really get pissed here in just a minute but lock nuts are lock nuts it doesn't matter but let's just look at this as if this is the front here okay so if this is going to be oh that's that actually works out right so this one would go here because this is going to be spinning that and then this one will go here yeah so that's right so we're going to use the left on one and four or the black on 104 and the silver on two and three so does this reach does this reach yes does this reach this is the question right here does this one reach here uh, it's close it's close so can I get it to reach yeah I can uh, would I like it to be a little bit longer sure I would am I gonna have a problem with it nope let me show you so here's what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and get started these are already tinned so I'm just gonna go ahead I can't see right here I'm just gonna go ahead and these are, it's gonna be a tight fit I mean that is that is kind of tight I don't know if that's too tight, I think. I don't know if I'm comfortable with that. Yeah, that's not going to work. Okay, so that being said, we have the option here. We've got plenty of extra wire right here from this one. So let me just give you an example. This one needs, and I mean, it's an easy workaround, guys, so it's, it's up to you. I mean, it's your call at the end of the day, but like I said, for what you get these for, I don't think it's, I think it's kind of a no-brainer. Um, so we can, we're going to need this much length here. And if we're going to do that, then if I'm going to extend two of them anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to set this back the way it was. Oh, yeah. This is the problem with putting the videos together and having to experiment. Because if I'm going to do it, I might as well just go ahead and leave it. God darn it, I'm so tired of taking this off. Hold on. Let's see if I can make this work. Come on, come on, come on. Steady hands, steady hands, steady hands. Come on, come on, no whammies, no whammies, no whammies. No whammies. Dude, get in there. Okay. There's whammies everywhere. Who said no whammies? Whammies have all over the place. Forget it. All right. So let's get back to this. Okay. So knowing now that we're going to have to extend, uh, going to extend the motor wires, but what they've given me here is one motor that's got enough wire when I cut it that it's going to reach for all of these. <clears throat> However, uh, I will say that it's not cool the way they did that. I, I think that kind of sucks. Um, and uh, if I was to, if the market wasn't in a way right now where everything's kind of been jacked up in price, I would probably address this differently. But this is one of those times when it would take me five minutes. Obviously, now it's taking me longer because I'm having to figure this out right now. But if my customers, it'll take you five minutes to correct the problem, and you'll end up with a good uh, value on your on your equipment. So let's just solve this problem easily by um, by addressing all of this right now and just calling it a day. It's not going to be a big deal. So for the last time, I'm taking that flight controller off. I'm not doing it again. So if it doesn't work this time, I'm going to throw this thing in the garbage. So hold on. Okay. 
So it looks like I've got two motors that are going to be fine and two motors that need to be corrected. And remember guys, silver, if you're spinning them like the normal default, silver is going to go in two and three. And so this one is going to fit. This one is not. This one is not. And this one is by a lot. So I'm going to take this one and I'm going to put this in first because I want to see how much wire I can cut off of it. Okay. Now, it seems to me like it would be really stupid of me to know that one is long and the rest are short and not check these and include extra wire if needed. Because if you end up getting four short motors, you won't be able to make this work. So I'm going to go through all the kits and check. It's not a big deal to me. So let me just do this real quick. Okay, there we go. There we go. All right, so if I was to just cut this here, uh, I don't think there's going to be enough wire for all the motors. So let me grab a bag of loader wire here that I've got. Uh, let me see where I put it. Hold on a second. This? Okay, so I'm going to put some of this in each box. Okay, or if you want to get a different motor, you can add it to it as well. It doesn't really matter. Um, so I'm going to do that. And what I'm going to do is for the back motors, I'm going to actually measure how long these should be. Okay, and I'm going to, assuming we're going to tuck some, some of it in or just lay it on top here. Um, I'll go with this length right here, whatever this is. So I'm going to cut this one right here okay and then I'm going to cut all of these the same to match perfect now how long is that wire let's see so from the heat shrink the wire is let's just say we're going to go with a roundabout number of about 50 mil so let me see if that's right it's close um, I would say yeah 50 mil let's go let's stick with 50 mil okay so none of the rest of these are going to be 50 mil for the, for the, whoops, for the, well, actually their heat shrink is different lengths too. So let's just go from the bell then, good Lord. 55 mil. And we are at, this one is 55. So this should actually be perfect right there. It is, yay. So let's put that on. It happens to be almost exactly 55 mil. Let's put this one on. And we know that the front has to be longer. Okay, because the distance from the front motors to the ESC is farther. So if 55 mil is the back, I'm saying the front has to be like 65 maybe. Okay. All right. So let's get to this part here. Um, first thing I want to do is I'm just going to go and that's 55 was generous it doesn't need to be 55 but we're going to keep it kind of long let's just go ahead and attach that real quick so I can get some of these wires out of the way start cleaning this up a little bit so I'm going to go ahead and solder these on and that's actually yeah 55 is going to be kind of long but it's going to allow me to tuck the wires in a little bit so let's keep these in order Okay, and let's see how straight we can get this and how much we can clean it up. So let's do one, two, and three. Now they do not give you any tape for this either, which considering they haven't given you much else, I can't really drive without the tape. So let me just put my meter away. Let's get some tape out. Let me see what size tape I want to use. Let's use this one here. All right, and my ruler is here. It's pretty thick tape, actually, but oh well. For the time being, I don't care. Let's just do that. So we're going to use. Let's take 60 mil. So right here. Okay, and I don't know where my scissors are, so I will use this.
go to the middle point of the arm roughly, just like that. Excellent. Looking good already. Let's do the next one. Let's turn the wire up. And let's get ready to solder that down. Okay. Alright. Now, let's get these straight. Straight enough to where I can tape it. I can always do the rest of it later. Set these and tuck them away later. But I want it to. I want to be able to tape it. So let's cut some tape again. Now we're cooking with grease. All right, now here's our problems, right? So we have these two motors and both of them, the wires are too short. And the first one will be okay. The second one, nope, and the third one, nope. So we're gonna plan on extending these wires, right? And they're, it's gonna be weird because it's gonna be such a small amount to extend, but it has to be done nonetheless. So um, I'm trying to think of the best way I wanna do this is going to be to take some motor wire that I have here, and I mean, some of these are like literally, I'm gonna be extending these wires and then cutting everything down. So let's just go ahead and get some really small heat tree, or some smaller heat tree. Okay, because we know we're gonna need them, just like that. And let's cut, and I mean, my phone, everything, today is like, everybody take, take a break. Everybody just take a break, okay? Can't not run a business if I'm talking on the phone to everyone, so please just give me a little bit because I've got to take care of customers. All right, and if you're a customer calling, email me. All right, here we go. So I'm going to get both of these ready. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of solder to this here, and I'm gonna go ahead and join it somewhere here. Well, I should use tweezers, actually, so let me do that real quick. Okay. There's one. This is why I save all my 
wiring that I cut because it always comes in handy. Um, I gotta empty out that. Alright, let's do the next one. It's two. is the one that uh, probably doesn't even need it and I'm sitting here trying to get it to it's not cool as quick as I wanted to hurry up is that good yeah one two and three okay so with these now let me trim these up a little bit to make it look somewhat decent okay Okay, and yeah, this one's okay. I'll just leave it. All right, so let's take our heat shrink and get ready to cover these up. There's one. Okay. Now, some of these we were extended knowing that it's not going to need, but like maybe it's just a little bit. So I'm going to like, I'm going to find something to do with this excess wire because uh, I do not want to cut it that close to the solder point. So let me just do it like this. I'm going to take the first wire, which is right here, and I'm going to run it, and I'm going to cut it right at mark here. I'm just going to go right past it, right there. All right. All right, there's one. I'm going to take this one. I'm going to go right past the mark here. There's two. And I'm going to take this one and go right past the mark here to here, let's say. Actually, they're all going to be about the same. Let's cut that one to about right there. All right. So let's turn it up. One, two, and I think I already stripped that one. I did. Okay. Now, okay, let's do that. bad is it? Oh, that's not bad at all actually. I don't I don't see a problem with it. Um, maybe more of a I guess if you want to take a cosmetic approach to it and you know want it to look cosmetically better I can understand but I am not worried about it for what I'm doing. So I'm gonna put this here like this and I'm gonna get the tape and I'm gonna tape this down. Okay 
So let me get the tape. Let's measure the amount of tape we need right here. And let's cut. Trying to get this all to me. All right. Now let's go around the middle. Okay. Get that one like that. That'll work. Now let's go to the next one. We're gonna do the same thing all over again. Okay, yay. Because it wasn't so much fun the first time. So let's just prep it. Okay, here's our next set. Now, one thing you could do, obviously, is you could cut the wire way down to here so that you have an easier connection up front. It's not a bad idea either. I'm not doing that, but I mean, I guess if I went back and did it now, I wouldn't probably redo that and just put the crimp down here where it's gonna be under the tape, all right? Matter of fact, well, I want to make it symmetrical, so I won't do it now, but I guarantee you that would be, it would, nobody would even be able to know uh, because you would cut it so close. No, you know what? That's what I'm going to do. So just for the sake of, of, of doing this, I don't want to do that, man. I just want to, I want to get this done so I can, I'm sure you guys understand though. If you, I literally just put the solder point right there or to join them, but I mean, if you joined, if you cut it back to here, then you would do it basically under the tape. You'd never even see it. So that should have been what I did, but I'm just, here I am just kind of looking to see uh, our solution and not really looking at it from a cosmetic perspective. But for those of you that, you know, the cosmetic matters, which I can understand, it doesn't make you fly faster or better, but I can definitely understand you want it to look good, especially you paid money for it, um, at least until the first crash. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the same thing again, basically. And uh, I think that it would almost be fair to just use the same measurements. But let me start with the let me start with this one here. So we're gonna bring this in, and I'm gonna make these a little bit longer so they're not kinked right there. So I'm gonna put one here, I'll do this one right here, and I'm just gonna do them all the same. So there's one, two, and three. them. One, two, and three.
And again, my focus here is going to be just put the tape down first. So let's get the tape. I think everything will fall in line shortly after that. Okay. All right. So far, so good. Now I think we're getting caught up with everything. Yep. And I think it's looking. It's going to look good when it's done. I can tell you that. Um, like I said, I would have crimped these down here, uh, and not necessarily in view. But I'm not worried about that right now. So let's get the desk cleaned up and let's go on to the next part. So let's see this frame get assembled so that we can figure out where everything's going. Uh, so the frame assembly is going to go like this, and they are giving us screws for that, I think. Uh, let's see. These are going to be... Hmm. What am I looking for here? Let me get all this excess wire. Now you see how valuable this excess wire is, so don't throw it out. Just set it aside. All right. Let's see, this is going to be, I believe this is an M2. Nope, it's an M, it's a, look, maybe an M2.5? Oh, here it is, yeah, M2.5, and then this is going to be, so I assume it's gonna be the M2.5 by eight. Let's, let's look at that. All right, let's see that. But, but the problem is, is, hmm. I wonder which one, I wonder if they've got something on the bottom of this. Let me see. As to why one would be longer. Oh no, that's right. Never mind. That's right, that's right. I'm not thinking. So let's put this here. I wonder if I can put this no, that's not gonna reach that far. Put this here. <laughs> of course, my uh, M2 pieces here. I, I guess it's time for me to fix those. So I think what I'll do for right now is I'm just going to get. I'm going to use the metal ones. I don't use metal when I do these, but it's what I've got sitting here, and I don't want to get up again go to my wife's side to grab anything so I'm just going to use um, these metal ones here tighten this down oh don't make me take this off so hold on yeah let me just take this piece off here because I don't want to mess with this well it's stuck on here so let me see if I can get this off Okay, now let's put this on. Can definitely use uh, a shorter screw here, but I'm not going to worry about it right now. It's just something that I'll make note of. But, I mean, again, it's not that big of a deal. I am surprised it didn't come with the mounting hardware. I, I don't know who that falls on, but I would say that HAKRC is the one that's supposed to include 
the hardware, usually the manufacturer of the components will include the hardware. I will say though that TransTech should be the one to verify that when they put a kit together. So it looks like both these guys, watch them be the same company with different names for all I know. Okay, we've got one more to go. All right, so there, and it does look good. I'm not gonna lie. It, it actually, when you put the right product in there, it does look good. So I'm just gonna bring the wires in as much as I can. Okay, and let's get started on putting this back into, together now. Okay, one, let's put this one here. Okay, now, they used this, and I'm going to check and see why, but it went like this, and this goes here. Okay, so what they're saying, what they designed was that this should go in and this should sit right in here, which it does. Okay, so I won't argue that. Um, what I don't see... Let me see if I can look at the front picture. Oh, you know what? I bet that's threaded, isn't it? Yeah, it is threaded. Okay. So I'm going to do one side at a time. So right now I'm going to look for a two and a half. Uh, I'm not really sure which one we want to go with here. Uh, 2.5 by... Let's try this one. I don't know if that's going to be... I think that would be the right length. So let's just try the 2.5 by 4. Which means this is going to go in here like this. And this is going to go right here. It's going to fit right in there and then pop right in there as well. So that works out well. Okay, so that's that one. How many by fours did I get? 2.5 by 4. Was there only... There's four of them, right? So it's going to be one here and one on this part. All right. That works out good. Um, okay, so now let's go ahead and plug the camera in because we're going to mount the camera to one side for now. And I believe it's going to go like this here. All right, yep. And I'm going to go ahead and bring that over. And I think they gave us the screws for that. So it looks like it's this M2 by 4 screw. So let's take those out. And that, my guess, should fit right in one of these holes here. So I'll put it in the middle, top of it all right there. Yeah, came out nice. That actually looks pretty cool. Can't argue that. All right, now, we have this piece here, and then we have this piece here, which goes on top, which we will put our VTX, I guess, on for the time being. And we have this piece here, which looks like it goes inside here. So the question is, which way would this go? Does it go like this? Maybe that's where the receiver goes, the VTX goes. Does it go the other way? I can't see. I can't see. Well, the pictures are awful on this one. So I think it goes towards the back. Uh, like this, maybe. So I think it goes like that. Nope. How about like that? No, that wouldn't make any sense. So let's try like this again. Maybe like that. I could see that. I could see that working right there. Okay, and what I'm gonna do is, for this build, I'm just gonna put the VTX up here and zip tie that down. So, uh, now I don't know if you wanna put your receiver up there or what, because there's another piece here I can put this on, but just for the sake of getting this build done and seeing if it works, I'm just gonna mount it to the next 
to the nearest thing that makes sense to me. So let me let me make sure that I have this right. All right, there we go. That's our VTX plug. And that's for the other side. So where's my other side? It should be right here. Here we go. So this one's going to go here. And I'm going to go ahead and screw this bottom piece on now. So I'm looking for the right here. Okay. Outside of them missing a few things, I think the design's pretty cool. I mean, it looks pretty solid. I'm, I mean, if, if they had taken the time to do the rest of it properly, it probably would have been really awesome. But uh, it's not bad. It'll come out nice when it's done. All right, so let's leave those two there. Let's get this last one here. last one here that's a tight fit I don't even know if that stripped it or not but uh, that's okay so I'm gonna bring this wire in so I can figure out what I'm gonna do with that and for the time being, this piece is going to go this way, just like the other one went the other way. This should sit just like this. All right, now, that takes this screw here, which goes right here. And I'm not going to tighten this one because I still got to get those two pieces. I got to get that piece of carbon fiber to get in there. So let me just kind of leave it so I've got a little bit of play here. Now, let's get that piece of carbon fiber back and see... When I put this in, hey, my wife's here. Let's see if this fits. Okay. Hey, babe. Hello. All right, let's see. Oh, God, this is a tight fit here. So let's see if this is going to fit. So if I put this one, I'll get my tweezers for this. Okay, so it, once it comes together, that's actually pretty cool. Um, it fits really snug right there. I don't know if that's gonna be, it, it, and it does. It seems to fit perfect for this. I cannot complain about that. I mean, it takes a little bit of figuring out, but that's pretty darn neat, actually. So I'm gonna go ahead and close this up. Now that I've got that piece in there, and it sits pretty solid, so it's not going anywhere. Okay, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and screw the camera in on this side. So let's line that up. There we go put that in there okay so you can see that that came out nice right now this will plug in here and it'll sit right there and I mean that's a heck of a fit so I guess you would want to use you could use double-sided tape if you wanted um, I usually have some but I think everything's missing so I don't know where it is uh, let me see if it's in my other door. Hold on. Uh -huh, I have some here. So you could use double-sided tape. You could use double-sided tape with a zip tie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut some double-sided tape here. Uh, and, okay, that much. All right. Let's put this down for the time being. I mean, you could put your receiver here, however you want to do it, because there's still another plate to go on. So let me just take this one off. God, removing the double side of tape is harder than building the quad. Come here, come here, little sucker. All right, then let's just take this, lay it perfectly still right there. And man, that is, that's pretty sleek. I mean, I cannot, I cannot. Maybe I'm a little disappointed in some of this, but overall, no. I think that's actually pretty neat. I mean, they just, they dropped the ball on a few things. I'm not gonna argue with that, but what you're getting is pretty darn cool. All right, let me open this up now. Okay, because I believe that this is gonna go here. I don't think it matters how you do the lightning bolt. No, that's not the right size screw, sorry. That's not for that. These are for that. The 2.5 by 6. So let's take those. Okay. 
right. Put these in. Like this. How you doing, babe? Good. 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 Just finishing this lightning build. How hard is it? Uh, it's interesting. I didn't. I didn't. I expected to open it and then say, okay, everything's fine, and then close it. And I said, you know what? I'm gonna build it because I need to see what's missing. So I'm an hour and ten minutes into this because it's 30 minutes or 20 minutes just trying to figure out how to get the motor wires to be the right length. So that was interesting. All right. So now. Um, it comes with some other stuff, and there's some extra screws here. I don't really care because it's not my... I'm not worried about the extra screws part. There's an LED here. If you want to wire it, that's your choice. I'm not going to because I don't care about the LED. I care about seeing how this is coming out. And to be honest with you, so far, it looks like they left these to maybe start the bottom and forgot the standoffs. That's it because these are the only screws that are left are these M2 by 6s that's not a very big screw and it usually would be something that you would start to the bottom and then you would screw it into something like this right here right but overall that's it um it is done so now let's plug it into betaflight and let's just see what happens i mean the main thing is i've got to make sure that i don't turn the camera on because the vtx is going to interrupt my my signal here to you guys so i've got to get in the smart audio and fix that first so i'm just going to import a standard um tramp uh, vtx setting so let me just get the mouse here. Let's get let's get Betaflight set up here for you guys. And there we go. All right. So let's connect and let's see what we're running here first. So we'll go here. We'll type version, and we're running Omnibus 3.3. Let's do a firmware update. Let's see what they suggest here. Um, I'm gonna go uh, let me see I'm gonna try actually you know what um, now let me go back here again I want to see something real quick See if it shows me, gives me a little bit more information. Um, I don't think it's going to be able to update on this version. So let me see. Let me go to my. Let me go to my firmware update. What you doing, babe? Okay, so now, and this may interrupt our video a minute, but I'm going to try to do this 
Uh, I'm not sure how I'm going to do with this. It could be interesting. So let me see. So we want to go to, after power, I'm going to press and hold the button to enter configuration from channel number, group power, so the button to the red light, I just have a channel frequency, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, blue light, I just frequency, 1, press and hold the button until the red light flashing twice, adjustable, okay, so let's try this real quick. ABC. Okay. Show one more time. Okay. Okay, so I think we're set. I don't think it's going to interfere now with us, so let's go ahead and turn this back on now. Let's see if we can find a video signal. And we do, and if I take the cap off, look at that. We are golden, guys, and we are on, let's see, that is 5.80, which is going to be, I mean, that's exactly, that's pretty much spot on. So that, that worked out really well, actually. Um, one, two, three, four, five, five, yep. So that works out well. VTX working well. So now let's check out, let's disconnect here. Now, I can unplug the VTX so that we don't overheat it, so let me do that, okay. There we go. Now, what we can do is we can configure the rest of the system. So let's go ahead and first let's connect. Let's go to, let's go to BL Heli, okay, and let's do a read setup. Excellent, 16.7, the ESC's updated. So uh, we're going to disconnect there. Let's go back. Let's configure our motors. Let's, let's calibrate. So let's go to connect. Let's go to motors. is actually I think all of them are in sync one two three four it is they're all in sync look at that so we turn that off right setup okay then we can disconnect let's go back to beta flight let's go back to our motors and let's see if they're all spinning properly so motor one Okay, well, motor one spinning the wrong direction, motor two spinning the wrong direction, motor three spinning the wrong direction, motor four spinning the right direction. Awesome. So let's go ahead and disconnect, head over to BL Heli, read the setup again. Okay, and we're going to go to motor one and we're going to reverse it, right setup. Okay, motor two, reverse it, right setup. Okay, motor three, reverse it, right setup. 
Okay, and we are done. So let's disconnect. There we go. Now let's go ahead and connect. Let me get that um, prop not the floor. Boom. And let's reset, do this, head on over to motors, and let's see if I start them up. Excellent. Sucker's moving great. So, tell you what, it took me an hour and a half, find the target and do all that, and I will definitely, uh, and, and with the ESC, I mean the VTX is working, I'm very happy about all of this, uh, so I cannot complain about that. I have not hooked up a receiver yet, but I have no reason to doubt the receiver. Uh, I can I can easily hook up a receiver, and maybe I will. Uh, but the main thing was to figure out from here what this kit may have been missing, and it is missing a few things, but it's not the end of the world. These are things, oh, darn it, I cannot get this to, hold on. Let me unplug this, let me unplug this, and let's get this going here. Okay, so let me put that plug back in. There we go. So there it is, guys. I mean, it's it's a pretty neat little kit. Uh, so, so the list of things that's missing. Okay, so this is what we had. We had, we need four screws, and I think I used 20 millimeters, so I'm gonna stick with that. We need uh, three and four, seven, four. We need 28 O rings or some spacers, whatever. Uh, we need four fasteners. Uh, we need some wire, some motor wire, and some tape. That's it. Uh, everything else on here is pretty stout. Camera's great. I love this camera series, actually. Motors are doing fine, there's nothing wrong with those. Um, and the frame itself is super strong. So I think overall this is a great build. Uh, I don't need this build. I've got plenty. I mean, I don't really get a chance to fly, so I'm gonna sell this one, obviously, but I think somebody will be very happy with it. So guys, um, so that's pretty much it. Uh, the customer was definitely spot on when he said that it was missing some items. But again, I will tell you that um, at the price that things are going now, I don't know. Uh, I would probably keep it and just, uh, I could send the items out. We'll definitely check the other kits. And now you have a video to follow along as well, okay? So I'll put the targets, I'll put everything that we used, I'll put all that up. Oh, and, and probably you need a, um, let's see, heat shrink. So make two heat shrink. Okay, all of that missing is probably about a dollar. All right, um, so anyways, that's it. Pretty good little setup, and there it is at the end of the day. Uh, here's the weight. 109 grams. Can't argue. I mean, it's good. It's good quad. This would be a pretty fun little toy for someone. Uh, and it comes with plenty of props. The one thing they don't skimp on is they, oh, they do give you heat shrink, actually. Look, they give you some, so you can use that. So, and they give you zip ties, and they give you some cables. I think that must be for the receiver. And then they give you three sets of props and some uh, lipo straps. So, I mean, overall, I really can't complain with this thing. Start off a little bit crazy, but it's a very good build at the end of the day. All right, guys, if you have any questions, uh, as always, hit me up. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Um, and I guess that's it. Have a great day. God bless. Be safe. And most of all, go spend time with your family. You never know how much time you have left. Go make the most of it. Spring break starts now for most kids. So good luck to everybody. Have fun. Be safe. And my kids, I will see you guys at the mid-marker of spring break so we can hang out and have some more fun. Peace, everybody. Talk to you later.